Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous, Beyond Chapter 4. One of the great things of Beyond Chapter 4 has been the updates to exploration. And exploration is one of these things that I think Elite Dangerous is based upon. And with that has come not only the new Discovery Scanners and Scanner Suites that are available to players, but the insertion of Stellar Phenomena into the game. Now all this is well and good and you may say that you've seen it and you saw it in the beta and you know, hey, it's just another video on Stellar Phenomena. So that's fine. And it is another video on Stellar Phenomena, but each one seems to be slightly different. This one, for example, I've got two types of phenomena, should we say, in, in this particular nebula. Not only do I have the orange type nebula and cloud that I'm in, but I have these mineral type orbs and I also have crystals. So things to get. And you also get credits for having these entered into the codex, should you be there to scan them. Now you've got to scan them with a composition scanner. So make sure you've got yourself one of those fitted and you're in the right mode. Composition is fitted to all ships. Don't worry about that. But getting it in the right mode, I think is key. Now you've got two modes now, you've got a combat mode and you've got an analytical mode or a scanning mode. Uh, and that's where, you know, the composition scan is going to really come into its own. But remember to set a key binding to it as well. Now, I mean, generally setting your key bindings to this, um, these dual modes is something that you're going to have to look into. If you haven't and using default settings, then you should be all right. But if like me, you've got an awful lot of other sort of like key settings set up, you're going to have to go in there and twiddle about. But anyway, if you haven't done so, do me a favour. Click that like and subscribe button. And also look for that notification icon. And that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos of Elite Dangerous and other games on YouTube. And it'll also help me out as well. And let give me an idea of what sort of things you'd like to see on the channel. So, other than it being graphically fantastic, and you can't say that it isn't, it's graphically spectacular with these new updates elite dangerous as far as we can tell there's not an awful lot of point to these stellar phenomena other than you go out there you scan it with your composition scanner you get credits you get some money about fifty thousand credits really for an entry into the codex and that's fine don't get me wrong that's, that's what it's all about and making it more interesting for to find things within the Elite Dangerous Galaxy is definitely a bonus. However, and it's a little bit of a however, finding these isn't straightforward. You can't just walk in, fly in, honk, and, and find them. You gotta go through the whole sort of like scanning procedure. But you know, it generally, it's, it's not too difficult. Wouldn't it be good though, if these stellar phenomena could be mined? And if they could be mined, they reduced they produced a mineral that would help, I don't know, help you unlock additional guardian tech. Give you a material that was anti-thargoid. Give you something that would supercharge your weapons to give you the edge in player versus player. Or in just combat in general. I think as we go into a more sort of like pay to play model with Elite Dangerous, then something like that would probably be more, um, more worthwhile. That would encourage people to go out there and visit these sites. I think anyway. These particular sites are not too far away from Rubigo and I'll put the links in the comment section as well. Not to worry there. Um, and as this one is particularly nice and orange and reminiscent of a chocolate orange, giving it being Christmas time, you know, I think it's well worthwhile we take a look at perhaps another one. Now, as I mentioned, I visited a few of these and I'm in my old jumper conda, the Prancing Badger, which I've been engineering up lately. Got the old Galnet skin on there as well that I was given and gifted by Frontier for subscribing to their email communications. Now, this one, again, a Lagrange cloud of 
of these crystals. Nice and dark, this one. Eerie. Although I do find the ones with the coloured nebulas and coloured clouds around them to be better. You know, I think that visually we get so used to flying around in a darkened space that seeing an orange nebula or cloud, you know, um, I think is, is, is out of the norm. And then scanning these metallic crystals, you know, of course, not only gives you these codec entries, but you also get some, you get a bit of money as well, right? But these, yeah, you know, sort of metallic looking, crystalline substances in space, great. What do they do? They float there. Are they visually fantastic? They really are. Is it worthwhile coming out and seeing them? Yes, it is. And this one's not so far away from Rubigo. Um, and so this. So if you're in that area, it's not too far out of the bubble. If you get a decent ship with some decent jump range, you can be there in I don't know, 20 minutes, perhaps even less. And I do think it is worthwhile coming out to see. Though I think it is ripe for a little bit of backstory about these, on how perhaps the Thargoids have engineered their entire technology around them, or perhaps we could use this, to, like I say, to defeat the Thargoids or, or give us an advantage other than just using Guardian Tech and the grind by there. Updates from Elite Dangerous are absolutely fantastic graphically. Um, you got to say it. I mean, absolutely brilliant. You know, it's really given, sort of like I think with this, that grander scale of space. It really has. Now, I have been putting off doing some mining, but I will get perhaps a video of mining out before the holiday season if I've got time. And those of you with families like myself, you know it's a busy old time of year. And this time of year, for example, especially this year has been exceptionally busy. You know, particularly for me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with a bit of music and the rest of the stellar phenomena that I've found with these crystals. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo and this has been the stellar phenomena that has been included in Elite Dangerous with the Chapter 4 update, which is 3.3. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Your viewership is greatly appreciated. Like and subscribe. Look out for more videos in the series. We're covering an awful lot of stuff at the moment. Notably, you know, X4 Foundations, although I might wait for a few more bugs to be fixed in that before I get back into that. Elite Dangerous, I think, has been quite stable despite some of the server issues that has been around. Anyway, enough about all that. I need to look what's going on here with a bit of Miguel Johnson. He's got a new album coming out very shortly, so keep an eye on that. And I'll have a link for that also in the comments section and details section. Thanks for watching. See you soon.